everyone. My name is Cameron Skidmore. I am a global partner solutions architect here at Red Hat. I focus on our DevSecOps partners and how we can really create a robust ecosystem of partners alongside our OpenShift product. And I'm here to demo a little bit of the functionality around the Tigera and Red Hat RHPDS. So who is Tigera? Tigera is the provider of the Calico enterprise based on the Calico open source project, which is a solution for container networking and security. Tigera with Red Hat is a proven full stack solution and it's available in production today at several Fortune 500 companies. So what is Calico Enterprise, the product that Tigera is offering? Well, it adds a lot of functionality on top of what would be most Kubernetes distributions, including OpenShift. So specifically with OpenShift in this demo, it provides hierarchical network policy. It allows network federation across multiple clouds, audit trails, continuous compliance capabilities. It also features monitoring with alerts for security violations, mainly for networking issues, and also a graphical UI with an OpenShift validated login and threat defense for things like threat defense and anomaly detection. So at Red Hat, we have our partner ecosystem, and this is specifically our way of visualizing the security ecosystem and the DevSecOps framework that we use to illustrate the value of the partner ecosystem. And as you can see, we have Red Hat featured throughout this DevSecOps pipeline, but we also have Tigera in here as well. And though Red Hat OpenShift provides a lot of functionality within this pipeline, it also bears noting that Tigera adds a lot of value to it as well. When it comes to Tigera, you can see that they focus a lot on networking around network visualization and packet analysis, and all that is coded in green in this diagram. And I could go on into more details talking about it, but instead of that, I think I'd rather show you. So let's get a little taste of the demo. We won't do everything here, but we'll get a little flavor of what the actual demo will be. So I just wanna talk through the different functionality and what we're kind of indicating through these dashboards here past the initial setup of the cluster. So we have a few things going on right now. We have a listing of the unused policies, the endpoints, things like that. And you have a lot of different customization ability of the visualization of the Calico Cloud dashboard. So we also have the service graph, which is showing all the different input endpoints rather across the entire cluster. You can filter this by namespace uh, at the different layers of the network on the left. Um, all of these are different aspects of the environment, whether they be containers, uh, operators running the environment. Zooming out, you can kind of focus in your view. If we wanted to go to the dev namespace, we would do that here. And then at the bottom, there is a categorical list rather than the visual list above. Moving over to policies, there are a lot of different default denies that we set up in the part four of the lab, which would be part of the lab guide that you would work through. If we go to the endpoints, endpoint details, and you see this massive list of all the different endpoints within the environment. And this is important for log generation as well as audits. All right, let's move over. You can see the managed clusters. Compliance is very important as well. And I know I'm moving quick here, but here's activities, which is your best tool for auditing. And finally, Kibana. And though this functionality isn't set up yet for this particular cluster, you could definitely do that within the RHPDS demo to kind of show some more functionality around Kibana as well. Um, but this is just a quick overview, so I'm not going to get into too much of that in this one. If 
Finally, let's go up to the service graph and flow visualization. Again, flow visualization is explored in the lab as well. And we're going to be showing the functionality and how it changes over time within the lab. So we're going to be configuring things and then showing in these dashboards and tools in Tigera how it's affected. Um, we're filtering the different keys here within this, focusing in on the hipster shop specifically. We could view all the connections for that application. And really, this is just here to give you a really good overview of all of the different connectivities within your environment. Namespace fil filtering is also available, as it is with most of these tools. Otherwise, a lot of this data would be kind of overwhelming, so these are really useful tools to use in your environment, especially as a network administrator or even a developer who's curious about the connectivity of your app. And that's pretty much it. The lab itself will have a lot of command line configurations as well. And again, we'll be representing all those different configuration changes within the different tools in the dashboard and kind of tracking things, we'll kind of intentionally break a few things and then also fix them and show how alerts go off. Hope this was useful and I hope you enjoyed the lab. <laughs>